Spark can help us decode the info in the lockbox? Spark is a support unit specially designed by Rubilia. It may contain a controlled runtime or supplementary data related to the lockbox. What Lin said was... indeed possible. We may have the data, but not a way to read the data. Spark may be the thing we need. Archon Larson, please wait in the infirmary with the rest. I'll take the lockbox there and try to use Spark to decode it. Fine. Get the lockbox to the infirmary, Lyra. choice. Now that I've hit a wall in my research into the gray space entities, I will be going into the confounding abyss. It has what I need to proceed. Maybe I'll solve the mystery surrounding the gray space entities and take them back to you. Or maybe I'll be gone, just like the Forerunners. Anyway, that's all. Good luck to you. And me too. So Rubilia went there. What does she intend to do? Archon Larson, I suggest that we immediately relaunch the exploration of the confounding abyss. If Rubilia was really in there, it would be in our best interest to locate her ASAP. Lin, do you think Rubilia could have survived in a place like the Confounding Abyss? I don't know. However, in the message she left, she said there was something she needed inside the Confounding Abyss. She knew very well how treacherous that place was, and I believe she had taken all precautions. I agree with Miss Lin. Dr. Rubilia's knowledge of the Grey Space Entities far exceeds ours. If we could find her, or at least more of her research data, it would greatly benefit us. Just a moment, you two. Rubilia left this video clip over two years ago. We cannot be sure if she really did go into the Confounding Abyss, or if she is still alive. Even if we are to relaunch the exploration into the Confounding Abyss, it'll take a lot of time to get everything prepared. I trust that no one wants to repeat the same tragedy. Lyra is right. Before we relaunch the exploration, we better be fully prepared for anything. Lifting the lockdown on Confounding Abyss will take some time. Go and take some rest and relaxation. I'll have Captain Saki Fua contact you when we make progress. You look like you have something to say. Miss Lin, what kind of place is that confounding abyss that you just talked about. About that. Few people in Mororia know this, but you should have heard about the Second City, right? We've seen it in the archives. Well, about 20 years ago, Mororia's exploration teams discovered a gigantic underground space and proposed plans for a third city. Within the following years, after the underground space was discovered, Mororia must have sent hundreds of explorers in different batches to lay the foundation for the project, and... explore its depths. Everything was going smoothly, then all contact was suddenly lost. No communication, no responses, everything just went dead. The people, the equipment... There's no sign of either. What's more, its terrain seemed to have undergone drastic changes. Nothing obeyed our known laws of physics. It seems to be... a gateway to another world. So... that's why it's called the Confounding Abyss? That's right. Also, based on the images sent back by the droids, there are ruins left behind by an unknown civilization on the other side. It has been a closely kept secret within Mororia. Unknown civilizations? Aliens? We know nothing about those ruins and who built them, but there are signs of Grayspace Entity activity there. 
Maybe that has something to do with the disappearance of our survey teams. Still, we have no way of safely investigating the area. That's why Mororia locked down the entrance to the Confounding Abyss. Until now. Miss Lin, where exactly is the Confounding Abyss? Now, right beneath our feet and underneath Mororia, lies the pit that is the entrance to the Confounding Abyss. What? If the Confounding Abyss really is that dangerous, why is Mororia still here? There's a subgravity field in the region where Mororia is. Scientists couldn't understand what caused it, but the anti-gravity engines which kept Mororia afloat rely on that field to function. Then, when the Confounding Abyss was discovered, they realized the subgravity field was caused by the Abyss's effects on our laws of physics. In other words, the current state of Mororia relies on the delicate balance between the Confounding Abyss and our reality. But that also makes Mororia a prisoner to the Confounding Abyss. The Second City project is underway, but it's far from being able to provide for the denizens of Mororia. This may be why Archon Larson is so concerned about relaunching the exploration operations. If our actions somehow broke the balance between the Confounding Abyss and our reality, the whole city would pay for our failure. That's... truly unbelievable. As you can see, this is a very risky operation. We better wait for Archon Larson to make the final decision. Executor, Archon Larson invites the both of you to attend the meeting at the headquarters. It's about the Confounding Abyss. Has Archon Larson decided to relaunch the exploration operations? Maybe. I'm almost at the headquarters. I'll see you in a bit.